Hey everyone! Welcome to today's video. I'm excited to have you join us for another helpful tutorial. Today, we're diving into something quite useful, how to open XPS files. Now, I know sometimes dealing with different file formats can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we're here to make it super easy for you. Now, you might be wondering, what's an XPS file? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. XPS, or XML Paper Specification, is a file format developed by Microsoft that's perfect for sharing and preserving your documents. It's like a digital printout of your files, ensuring they look just the way you intended, regardless of the device you're using. Let's learn together by following the steps shown in this video. First, open the Windows search bar and type Manage Optional Features. Click on the Manage Optional Features Settings option that appears. Next, scroll down the Installed Features page to see if XPS Viewer is already installed. If not, scroll up and click on Add a Feature. Find XPS Viewer in the list. Check the box next to it and click the install button at the bottom. Once XPS Viewer is installed, close the settings window. Then, type XPS Viewer in the search bar and click on the search result to open the app. In the XPS Viewer window, click on the file menu at the top and then select Open. Navigate to your XPS file on your computer and click on the Open button. Voila! The XPS file is now open and ready to be viewed. To convert the XPS file to a PDF, click on the file menu again and then select Print. In the Select Printer section, choose Microsoft Print to PDF. Click on the Print button, Give the PDF file a name. Select a save location and click on save. Now, try opening the newly created PDF file to see how it turned out. You've now learned how to quickly and easily open XPS files using the XPS Viewer app. Whether you're working with documents from work, school, or personal projects, XPS Viewer is a reliable and versatile tool for viewing and interacting with these files. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and consider subscribing for more tech tips and tutorials. Don't miss our other videos. Click on the screen to watch another video you might find interesting, Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.